Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today just to do some um, crafting with you. And I thought what I would do, uh, because I was asked to show how I made that little um, little tuck spot that I put on the envelope last time, I thought, well, maybe I'll just show you some fun things to do with like scrap ends of um, cardstock. Most of what I have here is Tim Holtz, and it's double-sided, so that works well with what I have in mind. And there's Leo. Let's say hello, buddy. Okay, so we're going to have to get you to move out of the way, darling. Out of the way. Back it up. All right, so what I want to do, I, here you go. I've got, here's a, a piece, and this would be fairly uh, even edges because I've um, cut it off the end, too to um, make something else. And what I'm thinking, this is how easy it is. <laughs> you probably could tell just by looking, but um, just to give you an idea, you just simply, sorry darling, uh, you just simply move it up like so, fold it up to where you want it, and you may be restricted as to how high you want your piece, and let that be your guide, and you can cut it off if you need to. I'm just gonna grab, um, a corner or a circle punch and another circle punch. Um, so what you can do, and I don't think I did it in the other ones, but you can just go ahead and punch a little spot there. May not be exactly in the middle because, whoops, because Leo. <laughs> I tried to put my tripod up a little higher this time because I apologize when I looked at that last video again it looked like I had um, things were too close and so part of what I was doing was out was not in frame. Leo, come on now. He is uh, he is a uh, I'm not going to say menace <laughs> because he's not a menace but He's definitely wanting attention right now. Come on now, off you go. Go on, off you go. He knows I'm a pushover, so. So yeah, just inked around, and then I would take my art glitter glue, which is pretty much my glue of choice all the time, but right now, I have to be kind of um, judicious with it because uh, quite frankly, it uh, it's almost at the end. And to get it in, in the uh, winter time is pretty tough. Uh, the prices on Amazon get really, really high. I'm having a hard time with that because of his loving up. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Now we have ourselves, no, darling, don't give me that look, no. So that becomes a nice little tuck spot. We can make a little tag or something to go in it. Uh, and you could sew around it if you want it. Um, I've just glued mine. If I was going to sew around it, I would do it at a later date. But you could easily, you know, make a tag and use that as a tuck spot, which would be kind of fun as well. So if we have time, we'll make a little tag with that. So the other thing, um, I'm trying to make things that I know I need. Uh, for the journal that I'm making, the journal that I showed you very quickly yesterday, and I'll do a, a, a flip through of that at another time. But, um, let's see, I know I need it to be, I'm just looking on here, uh, I want to make a like a side tuck with this, and I need it to be eight and a quarter, and I'm just looking at my uh, board here. I'm going to go this way. Two, four, six, eight, and a quarter. So just after the P there in Paris is where I need to cut it. And I'm going to take my cutter out. Go on now. Off you go, Leo. Off you go. We don't want to lose a... We do not want to lose a whisker. So, whoops. After the P in Paris. There we go, and we can use that for something else. And I know I don't need this to be very wide, or want it to be very wide. It's for, I'll show you in a second here. Um, push that up, go 
underneath my cutter. I don't want it any wider than two inches. Leo, do not be rubbing up against that blade. So there we go, two inches. So this is what I'm looking for. Close that down. And this is how quickly and easily I make a tuck, whoops, um, out of some scrapbook paper. And you could easily use um, a different scrapbook paper if you wanted. Which side do I want? I like that side too. I'm going to go for that side. So I'm just going to use my two inch punch and put a little divot in it there. And then what I do, whoops, I'm so sorry guys. I then take it and I run it under the machine. So, don't know. I'm just going to turn my machine on and sew around this and just very quickly. You don't have to sew. I just find it gives it a little bit more dimension uh, and texture, which I love. Just about done. So this was a piece of cardstock that was left after I did my um, uh, covered the inside of the cover of the book. So that worked out really well. And so I don't know if you can see the stitching on there, but um, and then I just go ahead and ink it. I do like to ink a lot of my tucks because I just find um, that gives makes it stand out a little bit more. Now sometimes you don't want you know the tuck to stand out. You want it to kind of fall back into what you're doing. So it's simple as that and then I would probably put a label on there. Who am I kidding? Of course I would put a label on there. So let's move this out of the way. Move that. And what else would we make with cardstock? Um, we could, I'm not sure why I've got two of these. Oh I know one of them's got my, one of them has mostly my little uh, tabs. Alright, so what else would I... Oh, okay, a very simple sort of tuck that I like to do. Um, grab some more a different paper. Oh, these are fun because they've got two on them, two squares. So this is a fun one I like to do. I'm just going to get my cutter. And I'm going to just cut between there these two. It's six inches because these are those back pages from your no, Leo, no, you do not want to be having your paws under there. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't cut that very well, so I'm just going to give it another go. And I'm going to. Um, Cut, I just cut a, actually I don't want it to be quite that wide, I think that's three and a half inches, I just want it to be about three inches wide. So I'm going to cut it three in, oh it is three inches wide, sorry. Clearly I want it to be more like two and a half inches wide, bless you. Um, do you do that? Do you say bless you to your cat? And then I just cut off, I, I kind of eyeball it. And so that would be a tuck on the side of a page, like so. Uh, and then I do sew around that as well. Very quickly, if you don't mind. He might be losing interest, but it's hard to say. And okay. 
so that just makes a side tuck for the side of a page. Very simple. I do, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to grab that. I meant to grab the ink. This will make it easier with him moving around a bit. And just a little bit of ink around the outside, like so. So do you like it better closer than this? Is this does this work for you from me doing it at a distance like this? Let, let me know what your preference is. So what else can we do? Well let's why don't we why don't we decorate these and then take it from there? See what we have left. And you don't have to put anything on these. They're beautiful as they are. This is some ledger paper. Um, from Toque. I could have put that on before I uh, before I sewed, but there you go. And I may just put that on the inside of where the where the sewing is. Yeah, I would have I would have preferred to have done that before, but oh, that must be where I was showing how I cross hatch on the back there. That's funny. And some glue on my board. So I'm just going to set that in here. And my on screen. There, better do that. Like so. So that just creates kind of a background. And it also makes the space go up into the other. And I have some um, flowers that I've fussy cut out a while ago. I'll also take a few of these. I'll get a few of these out and see what we have. Um, and see if we like any of them. That's real cute there, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's super cute there. Or we could put that there too. That's super cute as well. Why don't we do that? Set this on. So I'm just going to use my glue here. Yeah, I was saying about the art glitter glue. I, I get mine through Amazon because there are no stores uh, near me that sell it. And um, in the winter time, um, it is so hard to get it at a reasonable price. Um, so I um, I try and buy a few bottles in the summer and then uh, go from there uh, and so I'm almost out of my last my last bottle so just as simple as that I mean you, we could put a little label because you know because labels and we could set that like that or like so I think I like it standing on its side so we're just going to put some glue on here like that. And that is a tuck spot ready to go in my journal. Now here we can, do I have a nice long flower? Just looking here if I have a nice long one. I don't seem to have, there's a lot of purple ones. But you know what, that's super cute too. I do know that I want it on this side of a page, and I know that the page I want to put it on has a lot of purple flowers. So I think I'll stick with that. Um, I'm just going to take a little piece of this green. And do I want to just have that? Yeah, just like that, just so that it, it uh, grounds it a little bit more. So I'm going to put my glue on here. like so. Just making sure that I'm in frame, I hope so. It's hard to see with where I have the uh, video camera in a different location now. It's hard for me to see exactly where um, I am. I should mark it out. I'm going to tape it out on my board for next time. 
and then I'm just going to set this here. And that looks super cute, just as a tuck spot. And let's see about a couple of labels. I'm just going to grab a few of these. Some of them I haven't cut out. And these are Tracy's um, swatch labels. I'm still playing with those uh, because you know I love I love labels, but I particularly love Tracy's labels. Um, whoops! I just flew one across the room. That's kind of nice, isn't it? The red one. Let's go for that. So we've got so much brown in that. Uh, tuck spot, why not throw in another color just to just to make our us look up a bit. So that's two tuck spots complete pretty quick. And then this one um, we could decorate as well. Pardon me, I like the idea of putting a um, Label down here, and of course you don't always have to have your put your flower on first. I don't know. I love this one. Isn't that adorable? Love that. But I wonder if I think I want to do that. I want to put it so that it looks like it's coming out of this here. I think that's super cute. And I don't think it needs any backing because the truth of the matter is we're probably gonna we're gonna put a tag over top of it. Um, but this makes it look nice when even when there's no tag in it, which is really nice as well. So get my glue on there. And just situate it so that it looks like it's coming out of the pocket like that. Just going to make sure that the pocket will still open. Hello, Leo. Um, here we go. Make sure the pocket will still open. And I'm just going to put a little bit more glue right here. Actually, I'm going to sew around it since since it's um, the glue will have dried by now. I'm trying not to talk to him because paying him attention will mean that I've given him permission to stay. But that's how he'll read it anyway. So, off you go. Go on now. Off you go. So what I did um, is I didn't sew across the bottom and that's primarily because if I did that it will make the space even tighter. Oh, I think I'll keep those strings. We'll make the space even tighter. Um, so do I want the tag to be that large? I do not know. Um, I definitely don't want it to be that high. Let me see, do I have something else that would be a better fit? I feel like this would be a better fit. So let's just cut that. I'm going to cut it so that this lighter bit is still is going to be the back and that's so that um, I'll still use it for something so that someone could write on it if that is in fact the back. That's my, that's my thought anyway. Um, and why don't we take a little of the green. Again, and we'll just put some glue on there. like so. And do I have a small flower? Oh, here's a little one. So that's really pretty. 
something a different color. Maybe we want a different color. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a little bit of a different color. So if I stick that on, I know right there that that doesn't want, that's not going to fit. So I'll hold it there and that way I won't put glue on it and it makes it easier for cutting so that I don't gum up my scissors. So, set it like that. Put that like so. Well, I did get most of it on. Not all, but most. And like that. Let's see. So that's going to go in there. And we can set a little tag. Be nice to see the be it nice to see the tag or the label. Gosh, I use those terms interchangeably, don't I? Tag and label. So I'm going to set that there and a little ink around it. And let's see, do we want we want to put a tab on the top. I think we probably do. I've got one there, but I'm wondering if I have something a little, a little more zhuzh. Um, yeah, I like this color. I'll just set that in here. And I'm going to fold this in half. And I want the side without the stripes. And I'm just going to put, I put glue all the way around and then up like so. And then I just try and center it. And it's going to come over the label a teeny tiny bit. But that's okay. I like that. So I'm going to just run that under my machine as well. Just check in the time. Okay, I'm just going to go all the way around and across the tab. Better move this out of the way. I keep hitting it. Hope you guys are well. We're having a, a fairly bright day today. Um, so we'll see see if that holds up weather-wise. Okay, so I just did a sew around the square or the rectangle and then that fits in here and I can situate it so that you can still see the uh, flower in the background behind it. So that's it. That's fairly quick. Um, three little items that you can make from some of your scrap pieces of cardstock, Tim Holtz in particular. If you didn't have, I mean, the only the only one that it's important that it be double sided um, uh, is this particular this piece because you could easily cover the back of a tag with something else. But even if it wasn't double sided, we could have folded up a piece of cardstock and just put something else on it. Actually, let's do that. Let's just use. A piece of this is cardstock that's white on the back. And let me just cut a piece. I'm going to cut it it's three inches wide. There we go. Put that back. And then I'm just going to cut this white bit off the top. Okay. So, um, let's assume that I want that writing on the back. So I would just fold it like so. And then I would think about what do I want to put. I would turn it over and I would just collage kind of that back bit. Let's see, what do I have for, for papers? 
Okay, I've got this. This is nice. So I'm just going to tear a bit off. This is William Morris paper. Someone asked me if I had purchased the William Morris paper or um, from someone, or if I had just, um, or if it was authentic. It was. It's a digi that I've purchased from Lorna at Tailor Made Journals. She has some beautiful William Morris um, papers. So definitely go and check her out. She has lots of beautiful different sorts of papers that you could use for um, anything you might want to do with your journal. And you can hear Stella next to me licking here. There's always something going on with these with these little characters. So I think that's really cute. And then I would take my punch and I would put a little divot in here. It came right at me. And I might ink that right there, like so. It's a fun little thing to do with, with um, scrapbook scraps. Uh, uh, cardstock scraps and it's particularly good for the Tim Holtz ones where you have the um, the squares and the little um, rectangles at the back of the of the um, pads uh, sometimes one doesn't know what to do with them and this is a, a fun thing that you can do I'm just gonna put some glue there and here glue it down and I probably would just choose a little label to set on here. No, it's too big. I think this one would be great. Down there, like that. Like so. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Like I said, we're doing we're doing great. Oh, look at this. This is um, this is a pretty flower that we could we just cut the bottom off. Sorry about that flower. And we could just set that there. Wasn't that cute? So let's do that. Might as well finish up. So yeah, give it a whirl. I mean, you guys are probably doing all of these versions of tucks and little pockets anyway. But for for the beginner, it can be a little daunting to know where to start. And um, I just thought you might find it a little useful. And, and because I wanted some of these elements for the journal that I'm making. So, oops. That's it. <laughs> That is everything. So we just about filled 30 minutes, which is great. Because um, that's the capacity on my device. And we've got two little tuck spots. And then two other tucks. Like two tuck pockets and two tucks. Using scrap um, cardstock. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all well. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.